And I'm like, how in the world did you do that? So kind of talk about the numbers. Uh, you said you enjoyed the numbers, but you didn't like being a CPA. So how have you kind of leveraged your CPA background into real estate? Yeah. So um, saying being a CPA, you go through a pretty rigorous uh, exam process. We had four different tests, uh, ranging from some brief law to numbers and and all of that. So um, I got in uh, when I was still in college, I, I got an internship and and I was a, a billing analyst starting out uh, for the- What exactly the is that? What is a billing analyst? Uh, it was, I was basically- getting large groups of data and condensing them so that we could then bill Medicaid, Medicare for uh, other companies is the gist of it. Interesting. Yeah. So um, my job was to get uh, large, you know, thousands of, of data points um, an Excel sheet and get it to a certain area where, or a certain way so we could then plug it into the system to, to bill clients. And um, I call it lazy, call it uh, ingenious, whatever you want. But I was like, I can do this a lot faster if I just created a, they call them macros, but uh, a system that you just push a button and then it does um, step one, two, three that you tell it to do. So I wrote down this uh, code basically and and plugged it in. And I went from, you know, having to spend three or four hours on it to, a, to like an hour or two each day to, to simplify it. So that started my Mac or my uh, Excel kind of, uh, I don't know, frenzy or love of Excel. And then uh, from there, just being, I was on the audit side for the CPA firm. Um, we just dealt every day uh, Excel. And so you try to be as efficient as possible. We were billed hourly. So we we're trying to be as fast as possible. We'd have little challenges, stuff like that. So you just learned a lot of hotkeys. You learned um, formulas. You learned shortcuts, all of that. Um, and that is what all of that kind of combined into now in real estate. I love the underwriting process of it. So, you know, we find a deal and I love looking at uh, the numbers, how you can make it work. Does it work? Uh, you know, how does interest rate affect the deal? Um, what, how does sale price? I love looking at percentages, uh, expenses, stuff like that, just to, to see how it works and if the deal even works. Yeah. And what does underwriting do for an investor? Like, what is that? I say it simply as, you know, if you're getting a good deal or not, yeah. basically under, underwriting um, is you're taking the property and you are seeing if it can make you money um, after, you know, taxes, after insurance, after your maintenance, um, after your loan payments, uh, after all of those expenses, can you charge enough rent? Can you... Um, at the end of all that, can you still make money and make a return that you're uh, happy with is, is the gist of underwriting. Yeah.